everyone my name is vinay sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about monetary approach to balance of payment according to this approach balance of payment always and everywhere is monetary phenomenal according to this approach balance of payment always and everywhere is monetary phenomenal that's why in this approach we will consider supply and demand for money firstly we will talk about demand for money demand for money is stable function of income price and rate of interest demand for money is stable function of income price and rate of interest in this equation md is demand for money y is income p is price and i is rate of interest now we will talk about money supply money supply is sum of domestic money and foreign exchange reserve money supply is sum of domestic money and foreign exchange reserve in this equation ms is money supply d is domestic money or we can say that domestic credit and r is foreign exchange reserve according to this approach excess money supply over money demand can cause of deficit balance of payment means when money supply is more than money demand we have deficit balance of payment because when money supply increase means people have more money in hand if people have more money in hand they start buying more and more foreign goods if people are buying more and more foreign goods means import price and import are increasing if import are continue increasing means import will exceed from our export as we all know when import exceed from our export we have deficit balance of payment here we see how increase in money supply as compared to money demand can cause of deficit balance of payment now we will see how we can resolve deficit balance of payment under fixed exchange rate system to solve the problem of deficit balance of payment under fixed exchange rate system monetary authority will sell foreign exchange reserve when monetary authority start selling foreign exchange reserve means now we have very less foreign exchange reserve for doing import as a result our import will fall and if import are continue falling means we can solve the problem of deficit balance of payment and second most important thing as we earlier discussed money supply include domestic money and foreign exchange reserve if if monetary authority start selling foreign exchange reserve means our foreign exchange reserve are falling if foreign exchange reserve are falling means money supply is also falling because foreign exchange reserve are part of money supply if money supply are continue falling and after certain time period our money supply will be equal to money demand and when our money supply is equal to money demand we have equilibrium balance of payment so here we see when money supply is more than money demand we have deficit balance of pay payment and we solve this problem by selling foreign exchange reserve because when we are selling foreign exchange reserve after certain time period our money supply will equal to money demand and we have a equilibrium balance of payment okay now we see all process with the help of diagram now we will see monetary approach to balance of payment with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have foreign exchange reserve and y axis we have demand and supply of money this rm line represent our monetary base this rm line represent our monetary base and this md this md curve is our money demand curve and this ms curve is our money supply curve you can see here our money supply curve is above from money demand means our money supply is more more than money demand as we earlier discussed when money supply is more than money demand then we have deficit balance of payment this fd represent deficit balance of payment in this situation monetary authority will sell foreign exchange reserve so that we can resolve the problem of deficit balance of payment as monetary authority start selling foreign exchange reserve money supply will reduce and we will reach in this point e where money supply is equal to money demand and when money supply is equal to money demand then we have equilibrium balance of payment okay 
now we will talk about this second diagram on x axis we have foreign exchange reserve on y axis we have payment disequilibrium payment disequilibrium means balance of payment disequilibrium and this pdc curve is payment disequilibrium curve means balance of payment disequilibrium curve this pdc one okay you can see here after b point if foreign exchange reserve increase our balance of payment will goes in deficit this bd bd1 is deficit in balance of payment after b point if foreign exchange reserve increase then our balance of payment will goes in deficit that's why after b point our pdc curve goes in negative okay to solve this problem monetary authority will sell some foreign exchange reserve and when monetary monetary authority will sell foreign exchange reserve foreign exchange reserve will fall and we will reach in this point b at b point our balance of payment have a equilibrium okay this is all about monetary approach to balance of payment i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care